Hello, people. Welcome back. Um, now then, firstly, the elephant in the room. I know I said last week, on last week's video, that this week you'd see us out on the tracks. I'm sorry. Um, it's next week we'll be out on the tracks, promise you. This week is just the final sort of week of showing you um, getting Dora finished off, back together. We've got some other stuff going on this week. Um, we're going to put a CDL in, uh, in Ben's car this week. Well, we're hoping to anyway. Uh, so keep an eye on that. We'll try and stick some footage of that in here as well. Uh, thanks ever so much for all your lovely comments from last week. Uh, the ball joint splitter. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant thing. Um, it was an expensive tool. What I'll do is hopefully by now, you will have all had the reply from me. Uh, and I'll let you know exactly where I get that from. I, I think we have to worry a little bit about putting that on YouTube because of... I don't know, brand naming and that kind of thing. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, so quickly, quickly, only very quickly now. Uh, we're on uh, Monday morning, so this is going to be edited quite quickly and sorted out because we're going to do work all the way through to sort of Thursday, Friday this week to get the cars ready. We're out on a trip this weekend coming, which you will see the following week. I think it's Shropshire, I think. Now that should be fun. <laughs> Last time up there, people blew diffs and everything. Um, so quickly walk around, show you where I'm at with Dora. So this is her cage, all sorted. Oh, that sounds like the Jimmy's just pulled up outside. Uh, there's the cage, all ready for paint now. As you can see, uh, I'm doing all the bar work. Um, so I'm going to do the bumpers, rock sliders and front bumper, um, all in black Raptor as well. So let's have a quick look at that. So yeah, the rear bumper. Uh, got to do all that in Black Raptor, apart from the NATO hitch, we'll mask that up. Um, we're going to redo the sliders, give them a little bit of a, a touch up. You see the wings are still off here at the minute. Um, the front bumper, we're going to give that a bit of a touch up as well. Uh, you'll see now the new air boxes there in place. Very pretty thing, that. Very pretty thing. Got some news for you about those. Those may well be available. Um, so keep an eye on things. Those may be available to buy, you know. Uh, and then this rock slider here, going to get that one all painted up as well. Uh, looks like Ryan's just turned up and do a bit of something. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep you updated through the week. We'll get as much as I can, bits and pieces, uh, and then Connor will edit all this together, and we'll get some on for your next weekend. But I promise you, people, it will be the following week. This old girl will be out on the tracks along with the Jimmy. Uh, and maybe, maybe even a new edition. Yeah, I did say a new edition. Keep an eye on this channel here, because it's all happening here, do you know? Um, and we'll see, there might be something new for you to see, something quite interesting, you know? See you soon. Okay, so, just trying to keep you up to date on what I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to achieve, really, with Dora. And sometimes I wonder. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I have these ideas, eh? Oh, my goodness. So, I got to thinking, before I paint this and put it all back on Dora, I better sort something out with the snorkel, really. Because um, as I think I've told you, I've got an airbox. Oh, bear with me. So there's the beautiful airbox that I've had made. Um, very pretty, that, isn't it? Very pretty. Uh, but there's quite a bit of work in, in making this snorkel work. So the idea was that it was going to come through the inner wing. Um, so through there, you can see this 90 I've got in here. So I've cut the hole, OK? But then let me take you around this side and show you. On the inner wings, we have this sort of box section here, which is a strengthening piece. Obviously gives some structure to, the, to all the inner wing and stuff. Well, I'm guessing, anyway. Um, so that, now, as you can imagine on the other side, it's coming through there. There's no room there for this 90mm pipe and stuff to come in because the wings, if I try and show you, the wings are quite narrow, as you, as you know. They're quite narrow in profile. So, see that wing there? There's, there's, not, there's not a lot of depth behind there. So, what I've had to do, people, what I've had to do, oh my goodness. Now then, 
That's where I'm at at the moment. Cut that off. Now, I know I said that's a strengthening piece, and I'll redo that afterwards. We'll make something in here to fit around. So, anyway, this is what I'm up to. There's me, me hole that I've cut through. That's the 90. Well, that's not the one that's going on there, because we'll be getting a, uh, an aluminium 90 tigged onto there. So this is a mock-up now. So that's going to go through there onto the airbox. And then the plan, I'll let me show you this, is for this to go up as tight as I can there. Put along that there. And then the snorkel will come down there and pop straight into it there. So that's kind of the plan. Um, if, if there is one. <laughs> you know what it's like here at Four Wheel Drive UK, we don't do plans. But, I don't know, what do you think? I hope it works. Because <laughs> I can't really put the old setup back on it now. Um, anyway, we'll see, won't we? We'll see. Stick with us. We always like to bring you top content here, don't we? Top, top content. Having a clue what I'm doing here, yeah, really. Uh, we'll get there, eh? We'll get there. Let's get back out. See you soon. Okay, so. Um, the snorkel. You see what I've done there? I've took out the, uh, this section. Here. Actually. Everything gets caught up when you're trying to bloody do something, doesn't it? Right, so I've took out this section here from the wind. Um, so it was only thin plate. And I've replaced it with inch box section. As you can see, they're much stronger, much stiffer, all welded in. I can't see a reason why that wouldn't work, uh, which has then allowed me the space, I hope now, to get my, uh, my snorkel tube and stuff in. So. I'll try and get that in, give you a few pictures of that. Okay, so that's the, uh, the bar work and the, and the bumpers and stuff wrapped it. Where it really shows up on this, on the camera there. Let me get focus on that. Um, seems quite nice, to be honest. That's the cage all done. All just finished wrapped it. Again, gone for a, um, a more subtle texture this time rather than the um the wood chip wallpaper that i had last time on dora <laughs> well i quite like that you know takes me back to my youth but you see that's um oh, well it's not fantastic is it still it's old it eh? it's old it better than ct1 so yeah that's all that done box sliders as well got those done uh, i'll give the bumper a bit of a Get once over again. Try to keep it a nice, subtle texture. But I don't like the Raptor texture, you know. It's good that you could do so much with it, to be honest. This time I borrowed the um, spreadsheet engineer's gun because normally I just buy a Schultz gun. Oh, I used to train. I normally just use a, a cheap Schultz gun and throw it away. Um, but yeah, I used the spreadsheet engineer's adjustable Raptor gun this time. Very good, you know. Very good. That's to be said. I was quite impressed with it, you know. Um, go from a very, very, very sort of, well, even less textured than that, if you wanted, to be honest, to really heavy like I had on Dora last time. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the body, whether you can just about see it, I don't know whether you can just make out there, so where it's been rubbed down how heavy the texture was last time. It really was like um, wood chip wallpaper in a council house. Those of you that are, were brought up in the 70s will know what I'm talking about. And not that many of us about now, I suppose, anymore, sadly. But anyway, I digress. This is what I'm good at. So it's getting late, peeps. It's getting late. I need to get home, get some sleep, so I can get back down here again tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow now we're on with... Uh, Prepping the rest of the car, hopefully, this time tomorrow, we won't be far off having uh, the rest of the car painted. And then we can start putting it back together. Um, I think I've shown you a bit on the snorkel, I think. I don't know. I don't know whether I did or whether I didn't. I think I did. I think I did a bit on the snorkel. I think I've got that sorted out now. Um, 
Well, what a lot of head scratching that was, working out how to get that through there and, uh, and get stuff sorted. But yeah, it's all done now. You can see, there's all the modifications along the wing there. See there? Uh, that's where the box used to go, along there. So now I've put this inch box section, which I think I've said before, although it's much smaller, it's much stiffer and much stronger. So in my mind, that works. <laughs> in my mind, it works. And that's what matters right now in my mind, people. Anyway, I'm keeping you from your, uh, from your business, no doubt. Stick with us. Another update tomorrow. So then, another update. Seems to be all I do just lately is update you, isn't it? You know? Oh, nose is a bit sore. Put a mask on. What can you say? Anyway, um, wrapped the coat in. As you know, I did the cage. So that's all been wrapped up that while we were doing the rest of it. So, door is done. Um, just finished and demasked. I don't know whether you can really see. Um, so then, on to tomorrow, is getting this thing on that thing. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but hopefully, yeah, we're going to get that on there tomorrow. Uh, try and get as much as I can rebuilt on the, on the old girl. Because we are planning a trip out the weekend. Uh, and it's Tuesday today. I don't know why I give myself such a, a, a lot to do. Um, I've also got a day's work to do on Ben's car on Thursday to try and get that somewhere near um, so that he can come out with us at the weekend. <sighs> Too much to do. No time. No time, people. Stick with us. More interesting rubbish that we do down here. Thanks for your support. Hello, hello folks. Oh, it's been a bit of a week, you know, a bit of a busy week. Uh, so we're on Friday now, um, and we're just about almost done, really. Uh, door is, we're just finishing door, I'm just finishing door off. We're hoping to get out on the tracks tomorrow, uh, so we can bring you some more videos of us out and about, having a laugh. Um, so I think, like I said to you last week, uh, things turned out to be a bit much bigger job than, than I was expecting. Um, so what we're getting there now, I'll just show you some of the bits and pieces that we're up to now. So. That's the snorkel, um, all fitted in. Just in the process of making these little clips here. So I've made some little clips um, there just to fix it to the cage. So it's nice and strong. Uh, put a nice little bit of mesh on the end there. Um, that's the, the new air box, all in place. Uh, looking pretty good. So I've yet got to put uh, an AA AAP sensor down here somewhere. So I need to drill a hole and tap that in there. Um, but that's all done. Um, so like I said, just making these brackets up really. So this is the the, the lower bracket. Um, and I've got the rubber liner there just to, to glue onto it. So what I've done with these is I've uh, had a bit of the yeah, 90 mil pipe left over so I cut that into strips in the bandsaw not my bandsaw I don't have a bandsaw but thankfully Ryan that made the, the air box for me has cut these into strips and then what I've done is I've cut that uh, that into a strip and then use your imagination for the rest of it eh? um, but you can see where we're coming from so I started with start with that end up with that okay um, and then this one will fit just on the bottom here. Something like that. So uh, I've just got to finish that one off. Um, just finishing off cutting up the wing now. There's a bit more to come off the wing there in that corner, just down there to allow the snorkel. Uh, I've had to modify the bonnet. God, people, you don't realise, you know. So I've had to take a big chunk out the back of the bonnet here. Uh, where's my camera? All the way along. To allow the, the, uh, the cage bar, and you'll see on the, the front of the cage there, to allow that bar to go past. Now I'm also now just doing a bit more of a modification now, allowing here, where are we? There. To allow the snorkel to go past. Don't realise these things, you know. Like I said, I'm no expert in any of these. You can hear the noise in the background there. That's Ben's car. 
So, we were very busy on that as well yesterday. Uh, Ryan's changed the transfer box in that yesterday. So now Ben has a working CDL. So, uh, Ryan's just finishing that off now. So he's just doing that. We've got to finish off the CDL, bolt everything up. Um, not much longer left on that. It's also had, uh, we had a bad misfire on it, so I've changed the injector loom. Got my oil leak to with this thing here. Change this. That seems to have sorted out the, uh, the, the misfire. Yeah, it had a horrendous oil leak coming from the... Uh, the oil filter housing, mate. Yeah, the oil filter head. So I think when they tried to change the filter on it last time, it dragged it about and disturbed the gasket, I think. So we did, uh, Ryan did that. Um, he's also had some new turrets fitted while we were at it. We fitted, I don't know whether you can really see them in there. So he's had some Rattle X um, turrets fitted. We did them from yesterday. Um, he's got a vacuum operated um, CDL kit that's to go on. I don't know if Connor's going to do that for him tonight. He may well be doing that tonight for him. There's also, as you can see in here, he's got a, an EGT sensor been fitted. Uh, that just needs wiring through into the cab. So that's Ben's ready. Dora's almost ready. Almost ready. We've got the Jimmy there. Again. Always ready. Almost ready. Always, Always. ready. Like, let me show you something. Now, you tell me if you think this is ready. All right. I spy tools and things on the floor next to the wheel. Doesn't look ready to me. But, you know, I may be wrong. So here's the piece. I was trying to cut a piece out of the bonnet. That's the piece I had to cut out the bonnet to allow the cage to go past. Bit of working out that, bit of head scratching. But we got there. So that's the snorkel finished. Um, I think you'll agree it looks quite tight, I think. Hopefully you agree anyway. So there it is. Uh, some nice homemade clamps. No me, peeps. Too tight to go buying things. <laughs> so uh, that's all in. Seems needs to just pull the wing in a touch here, I think, to get it back to the headlight. Just by here, it sticks out a little bit. But we'll fattle that, eh? We'll fattle that. Shuts on the door's not too bad. I'm dreading to think what it's going to be like on the bonnet. But onwards, upwards. Okay, so that's the snorkel now all fitted. Uh, what I've done is I've taken, I don't know if you can really see there, but my breathers go behind there, taken up the inside of there, all the way around, pop them around, and back into the top there. Keep them nicely out the way. Um, underneath the wing there, it's so. Obviously, all this here, I want the ceiling up. Got some CT1, I think, can go around here. Just keep the panel all outside. Um, I'm going to try to edge the bonnet, edge the panels wherever I can. Just try and make it look, it look a little bit better, isn't it? I know she's only an off-roader, but... Um, well, I think that looks quite tidy. I'm quite happy with it, really. And under the bonnet. Let's have a look. So there's the setup under the bonnet. Um, so I don't run a math, so that's not really required because of the map that I'm running. Uh, so I just need to fix that box down now for this weekend. Oh, and I need to seal that hole there where the old snorkel used to come through. Um, but for this weekend, I think all I'm going to do is just zip tie it down. Um, need to get some smaller indicators there because now you can see there bush bar so the indicators won't fit um, things like that you don't think about I'm still missing the rear arch there because uh, well, I've just bought two sets and it's always that one that, that gets it you know so I need to get another set of flat dog arches, really, and put one on there. Um, they need painting. That's not major. That one's painting. 
the wheel's back on. Camera's back on. Uh, get me. Fine's just got a, what's what you got, mate? You got a leaking seal, have you? Leaking seal. Leaking seal in his transfer box on his lobster box. Oh, yeah, Cluid bearings saved me day. Yeah. Thanks to Cluid bearings. We happen to have a seal there that'll work. We think it'll work. So, so Ryan's just uh, pigging about with that now. That seal is fucked. That's a technical word for broken. <laughs> so yeah, he's just getting that sorted. Uh, Ben's is over there now. All sorted, pretty much sorted anyway. Ready for tomorrow. I think we just wait for Connor to come down tonight. He's going to put the um, the vacuum actuator on on the CDL. We think tonight, and then put the centre console back in, uh, and then. Yeah, let's say door is pretty much there. To be honest, I've got the grill to fit back on. I don't know what I'm going to do with these things for now. I have ordered some new ones off Amazon. If they come tonight, I might be able to get back down and pop them in. Um, but inside, look, people, look. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. It looks absolutely dire. It's the last time we were out. So I'm afraid that's going to have to wait. But look, I think... I don't know, let's just move these in. Let's see if the cameras are working. They were yesterday. Maybe they're not today. Don't know. Maybe we need to start it up. Oh, for some reason the cameras won't work today. So like I was saying, got the camera's working again now as well. So there's my front view, my rear view. Uh, there should be a front view, or there was yesterday. Oh, maybe the front view's not working again. I don't know this bloody thing, honestly. Should have bought a decent one, maybe. But we've got the rear view working, at least. There's the rear view's working. Um, let's see. Now. No, and yet it was working yesterday, you know. Right, so, like I was saying, I'm now for front and rear camera. That's a rear view uh, off the top of the car, and that's the front view from under the steering guard, or above the steering guard. Helps, hopefully, maybe off road and that, and then you can't see where you're going. I don't know. I use that one there, rear view, because obviously. Can't see a lot through the back of door and windows. So that's quite useful. Hey, I digress. So what I'll do is I'll get this finished off. Um, we get her outside in the in the daylight. I was going to try and give her a really good, nice clean and, and get all the inside spotless and everything for you before we did that walkabout. Don't think I'm going to have time now, I'll be honest with you. We desperately want to get out on the tracks tomorrow. So, I'm sorry if this week's a bit bitty and a bit, sort of, not, not a great deal of content in it. But uh, I'm doing my best, people. I'm doing my best here. Um, and we'll get you some next week. Keep an eye out here. Next week, we will most definitely be putting something out on the tracks. All right, so if I don't put any more on this, I don't know whether we'll have a chance to, to, to put any more edits onto this today. If not, don't forget now, like, share, subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring it for its life. Make sure you get us out there, eh? Share to everybody that you know. Let's get them subscribers up. We've just gone past 6K, just over 6,000 subscribers. Thank you ever so much. You know, it's down to you lot out there, that is. You lot, not us, that's you lot. Thank you ever so much. Keep it coming, keep sharing. Let's get out there, let's get big, let's take this everywhere, eh? Let's take it everywhere. See you next week, people.